Hello, my name's Nicola Doyle and I'm the Audience Engagement Officer at Cast Theatre in Doncaster. Being a partner with Social Seats involves having hosted visits whereby we are able to offer tickets to performances throughout the year. The visits are supported by myself as Audience Engagement Officer and prior to the visits um, I go out and speak with the groups and meet with the group leaders in the communities to look at what their experiences of Cast is and also look at what barriers there are. We work with five partner agencies uh, for our Social Seats project in Doncaster. These include Doncaster Conversation Club, who support asylum seekers and refugees. We work with Changing Lives, who are based at the Women's Centre and Community Hub and support vulnerable people in Doncaster. We work with Stronger Families, who also work with vulnerable people and families with complex needs in Doncaster. We work with Aiming High, or Short Breaks Panel as they're now known, who support children and families with disabilities and we work with creative directions who work with adults and people that may have experienced a mental health problem and who offer opportunities through arts. My experience with social seats has been uh, the last time I came I came to watch Shakespeare. It was Shakespeare's last play and it was uh, to try and figure out where they can get more people in why people may not be coming to CAST to see theatre. Social Seats is an excellent uh, platform. We were told that CAST were involved with many different groups and they invited uh, creative directions at Darts at the Point to ask if they were interested in Social Seats. Uh, we said to people, who would like to go to the theatre that doesn't go to the theatre? and why. And we had a long discussion and there was all sorts of discussions, you know, stuff about elitism, uh, theatres for posh people, things like that. But one of the main things was, is we've got nobody to go with and social phobia and anxiety. I just love coming here. It's a great place, great building, and it's just got many opportunities for all sorts of different things to, to come and that people can enjoy and take part in. Coming with the group inspires me to to come more um, because it makes you realise what you're missing out on and what you could be seeing. Sometimes I need, for example, for one week I need to come see this movie or something. It's money problem for me. Exactly. Because I, I like it, this place. Exactly, I like it. I see it as very important, giving BME communities a social space to be able to come and socialise and um, learn and experience new things, yeah. Um, I was offered to do a two-day workshop with Gecko. Um, I thought I'd jump into that, why not, let's do it. I suppose it boosts your confidence a bit, knowing that you can do something that isn't normal, that you wouldn't do every day. So if you can go out and do something different, push yourself out of your boundaries, it's brilliant. You know, a lot for me, like, uh, it kind of uh, expressing what's going on in the Casa and uh, also, it, like, kind of contributing to the community and really like I feel myself I love the theatre and art project that why I, I encourage myself to attend like this program. I wouldn't normally afford to be able to go to the theatre without the help of people like me. It has been a really good story because young people really enjoy it, constantly asking are we going again, are we going again. Unfortunately, Nicholas, you know, coming up trumps with us and getting us the tickets. I think it's an experience for them, and uh, it also helps them with uh, the social skills because obviously, young people with autism, the social skills are usually lacking. But by doing this, they're mixing the general public, and you know, nobody's really looking at them as if they're, they're different because they're not different. They're unique young people and uh, I just think it's a really good experience and we just want it to continue. Well, it should continue because people who have got mental health problems or refugees and asylum seekers, they just can't afford to come to the theatre unless there are social seats available. They're able to mix with the community, see, see what everybody else does and participate in things that everybody else does. It's a very important thing. 
then they're not left out and they're not feeling on the edge of society, they're included. Well, the impact's been brilliant. The Social Seats for programme was to get people to theatre and ask people why they don't come to theatre and what are the barriers. Uh, the obvious barriers with the group of people I'm working with is um, social phobia, anxiety, people that don't like crowded places or new places. But here at CAST, they've been really welcoming. We're really, really pleased with the Social Seats project. We've had over 1,200 attendances by our five groups alone, which was way more than we initially anticipated. The group leaders have been absolutely instrumental in the success of the project, really supporting our journey, enabling us to come into the groups, to talk to people and supporting their groups to attend, and we can't thank them enough. We know that every individual faces different barriers, but there are crossovers. For some it might be social anxiety, it might be isolation, it might be having no one to go with, it might be social phobia, it could be lack of finance or childcare, and the fact that coming to the theatre for a lot of our members was outside of their everyday lived experience and it involved taking a risk. And we would like to thank our participants for being really brave and getting on board with the theatre and really helping us to learn. I think going out into communities has been hugely important and significant and meeting people and talking to people in their environments to find out what their experiences are and then to use that learning in the way that we communicate to every individual whether that's by our access page um, where we make it very clear what support is available for families in Doncaster how we communicate our information and our marketing and comms team have been wonderful at making our print very accessible and translating where needed and really trying to reduce some of those barriers. The staff at CAST have been absolutely amazing. They've been really on board with the Social Seats journey. We've used some of the Social Seats funding to pay for training, which has upskilled the staff so that they're aware of some of the complex and sometimes challenging issues that individuals have, whether that's around cultural competency, LGBTQ, Makaton, BSL, the staff have been fully on board to learn and to embrace this project for the betterment of their community too. Our sensory space was funded in part because of our learning from social seats where we were able to evidence from our conversations with SEM teachers and parents and children about what would make the theatre better for them. But we very much feel that we're still learning and we've made mistakes along the way and hopefully we will continue to grow as a theatre that serves its community.